We do three things the moment our internet gets slow. One, we start the router. Two, lift up our phone like it's Simba. Three, procrastinate. We can be as desperate as we want and move around those antennas like it's an old TV. But none of that is going to make your internet faster. So, what's really going on? The problem might just be lurking in your home. No, your neighbours aren't the ones stealing your Wi-Fi. Because the design of your home could actually be one of the culprits for that terrible internet experience. Most homes are built with concrete walls and metal wiring used for structural support, blocking those Wi-Fi signals from reaching you. And if you have a larger house with multiple rooms, one router by the TV downstairs isn't going to cover your whole home. Wi-Fi signals are at its core, radio waves, which can be blocked by the objects around it. Even placing your router close to household electronics, like Bluetooth devices or a microwave, can interfere with its radio frequencies, creating what's called dead zones. You don't even need to get fancy to find them. Just pick up your phone and connect it to your network, then walk around the house while watching your signal bars go up or down. But it's not just your microwave that's stopping that GIF from playing. The number of devices sharing one single connection can disrupt your internet experience too. Picture this. You've made a pizza for five of your roommates, and each of them bring one friend. Which means now you're slicing the pizza for 10 people, plus yourself. So, each person's gonna get a smaller piece, which isn't fun for anyone. And it's the same for your Wi-Fi signals. More people sharing the Wi-Fi means that more of the signal needs to be distributed. So, not everyone is gonna be getting the full experience of that 300 Mbps Wi-Fi you've just installed. But that's not all. The type of internet usage is also another culprit of slow Wi-Fi. If you and your five roommates are either gaming, binge-watching Black Mirror in Ultra HD, or downloading huge files all at the same time, think of it like a room full of people who are all speaking at once. Nobody's going to be heard very well. So that's where Mesh Wi-Fi comes in. It's a range extender that eliminates dead spots at every corner of your house to give you stronger and faster signals than a regular Wi-Fi extender. And you can even choose where the coverage needs to be spread. So if you're in the toilet and want to watch those K-dramas while you go, now you can. But this technology isn't new. Wi-Fi extenders have been around for many years now. But for those, its signals get weaker the further you extend it. Mesh Wi-Fi is a little different. It's like placing multiple Wi-Fi routers in different rooms. Except Mesh Wi-Fi connects to one existing router already in your home. Its nodes are also easily synced and set up through an app, which gives you full control of who gets a slice of that pizza. And these mesh networks have been used for quite some time, especially in larger places requiring a secure network, like the military and some businesses. Now, the technology is expanding to consumers too. A big shout out to Maxis for educating us on the factors that affect our Wi-Fi speeds. Maxis wants to give you a better internet experience. With super fast fiber paired with mesh Wi-Fi, you'll get better coverage with a suitable plan for your home's internet needs. They'll also send a MaxPad over to your home to install it for free. Now you can stop blaming your neighbours for your slow internet. They may be stealing your parking spot, but not your Wi-Fi. 